All right, YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy, that gamer, Sunny PD. We back on this Pokemon Crystal Randomized Nuzlocke, and I am excited. Now, I played through the after game in my spare time. Uh, the after game is just Kanto region. You go collect all the badges, and you, you whoop some ass here and there. Not really a lot to, to talk about. I didn't really catch very many Pokemon. And then um, I trained all my guys up about 10 levels. Uh, my strongest one is Henderson, of course, because, you know, Henderson's a beast. I want to lead off with Leonidas, to be honest, because I feel the safest leading off with Leonidas. But what are we doing right now? Look at all that money. I trained with the Elite Four a lot. I almost died a few times. Um, I got a lot of money. I got a lot of healing items. Um, this is what the squad is looking like. Let's go through everybody, because this is, this is definitely the last episode of this. There's no coming back after this. Let's take a look at Leonidas. The young Dragon Knight. He has Slash, Dragon Breath, Outrage, and Fly holding the, the Dragon Fang. Man. This nigga took a really long time to level up. That attack stat is the reason why I'm going to lead off with him. Let's move on to God. I could have just scrolled down on why I did that. God is our, our Gengar. He's a young God. You know what he does. Oh, he's close to leveling up. Well, fuck it. He's got the Amulet Coin with Sludge, Shadow Ball, Confuse Ray, and Egg Bomb. Uh, it's a pretty decent moveset. His speed and his special attack are what makes him a god. And then we got our, our starter who survived all the way to this point. Don't know how he did that. This is like, how many Cyndaquils have I had in all the Nuzlocke's that I've done? Or all the all the Pokemon games that I've done, period. I think all three of them so far I've had a Cyndaquil. Strength, Fire Punch, Flame Will, Fire Blast, holding that, that charcoal. Uh, pretty decent stats overall. He's a... He's, he's alright. He's doing okay. I did it again. Uh, let's go to Henderson. Let's take a look at him. And I'm, I can't control this game for some reason. Alright, Henderson is our strongest Pokemon of all time. Um, Lucky Egg. Because I was leveling him up as high as I could get him. Before it got to the point where I was like, I'm not about to sit here and do this for another two hours. Uh, Waterfall Surf, Arrow, Arrow Blast, and Sky Attack. Some pretty good moves. I wish he had more PP on something. Maybe... I don't know. It doesn't matter. His attack stats are ridiculous. His speed is... All his stats are ridiculous. Nick is damn near a pseudo-legend. Then we got Steve, the Espeon, who is probably the one replaceable member that I have on my team. If I could have had a Grass-type or an Electric-type, I would have taken that over Espeon. But it's it's still it's still good to have a Psychic. Uh, his Cut, Meditate, Murko, and his Psychic has 12 PP. 12 pp because uh i found a pp up in the cave i walked through the cave without flash which was really really fucking stupid i don't know why i did that um his attack is whatever but his special attack is really high so is his speed for the most part and last but definitely not least we got shucky the god that's the pokemon that uh we traded for i don't remember what we traded to get it but we traded something with twin needle rollout spore and sludge this thing is a beast even with these stats that actually don't look that nice, but this thing is a beast. And, uh, I could have trained him up really high if I wanted to give him the lucky egg. He would have got double boost experience. But you know what we're doing here. We're in Mount Silver, and we're taking on the man, the myth, the legend, the god. Swimmer Veronica. And he has a Vaporeon instead of a Pikachu. That's his that's his Pikachu too, is a Vaporeon. Alright, I feel good about this. Um I'm just gonna use Slash to be honest. Hopefully this thing doesn't have or Aura Beam or Aura Beam. Three swipes. Ooh, it missed. Slash again. Hope for that crit. I might, I might go to Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath might work a little bit better. I would do Outrage, but I don't want to be confused. There's that crit back to back on that ass. Bubble Beam. Uh, that's a lot of damage for... Not very effective. That's that, that high ass level though. Alright, that's one full restore. I'm going to speed that up because I don't feel like watching it. Okay, Dragon Breath. Paralyzed, there we go. That's what we needed. Now, more than likely, when I get him down to the yellow again, he's gonna full restore again, but that's fine. Ooh, another crit went back to back on that ass. Fury swipes. I'm gonna speed that up. 
Oh, no four star. Milk drink, what the hell? Crate went back to back on that ass. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this chance to heal because I'm not taking any other chances. Um let's four restore. Yeah, because he four restored too. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna dragon breath again. Paralyze, let's go! Fucking great. The hacks. Ooh, and a crit went back to back on that ass. Ooh, and another crit back to back on that ass, nigga. Let's fucking go, Leonidas. Alright, what does he have next? A Spiro, really? Are you actually kidding me? How come I can't super effectively hit Spiro though? I could use rollout, but I'm going to Dell fire punch this hoe in the face. Shout out to Spiro, man. That must be one of his. Is that his Snorlax or his Lapras? I don't know. I don't know what levels his other two Pokemon are that aren't. Um. Oh, it could be his Espeon. Uh, Fire Blast. Don't miss. Oh, fuck, yo. Come on. It didn't affect me. I don't know what he used. Okay, Flame Wall. Let's see how much damage that does. I'm not super underleveled, but I am. I am not nearly high enough level to just one okay never mind i was gonna say i could have one shot at everything but i'm not high enough level polytoad that's dangerous i don't have anything for polytoad i'm just gonna go into steve i'm gonna go into steve and try and psychic it and hopefully it dies to psychic that might be his snorlax i think that's his snorlax that's either his Snorlax or his Lapras, and then his level 77s are his, uh, his starters. Venusaur Charizard and Blast twice. Octazooka, how much damage is that doing? Fair amount. As long as I don't get crit it, be good in the hood. Nice. That did a lot of damage. And boom, Polytoad's gone. Polytoad was probably the scariest one so far. A Sandshrew, that's nothing. Bring my nigga, my nigga Henderson out. Alright, Henderson. Go ahead, surf that hoe. So that's one of his starters. That's either Charizard or one of them niggas. He has a total dial. So he had three water types? I'm going to God. Sludge. Wow, Sludge did not do a, nearly enough damage. Shadow Ball did, though. Shadow Ball again. Alright. And his final Pokemon is a Seeking. Uh. We'll just stay in there. Shadow Ball. Get that Water Gun. Shadow Ball. Get that Water Gun. And. Boom! We did it! Biatch! Hey. Hey, we beat Red. Hey. Hey, bitch ass nigga. Hey, level 66. Hey. God. Hey. Swimmer Veronica has been defeated. I got 15,000 because that amulet coin, man. Then he disappears. Alright. Pokemon Crystal version staff. Satori Tajiri. Satoshi's. I'm just going to speed up now because I can't read. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our death box real quick. Um, 15 times. <laughs> They're 15 time famers. Oh. Oh, that was that was me going backwards. That's how many times I beat the Elite Four trying to level everybody up. And then I just stopped going to the Elite Four because it uh, went through the credits every time. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and look at our death box. We got Leaf, the Bell Sprout, which was great. Heat on the Bay Leaf, which was amazing. Kurt, the Ampharos, wish I still had you. Yogi, the Ursa Ring, which was great. Lilo! It's okay that we lost Lilo. Kadabra, aka GG. Those are only the Pokemon that we missed. One, two, three, four, five, six. We lost six Pokemon. Let's see how many Pokemon we caught. We caught. Uh, five, 23? Yeah, 23 Pokemon. Gonna look at potential team members. Could have had Brock the Steelix, which would have been amazing. Fatness, the Raichu, probably would have sucked. The Lantern would have been a great replacement for Gyarados if it did die. Harambe would have sucked. Wavy probably would have sucked. Lod would have had a lot of defense, but would have sucked. Uh, Gina probably would have sucked. 
I hate Draft Riggs. I hate him on top. Uh, Tentacro would have been alright. Dunsparce would have sucked. Fable would have been beefy. PD would have sucked. Dab would have sucked. Y would have sucked. Harry would have sucked. Fu would have sucked. And let's go see what's in box number two. I think there's a Blastoise in there. Pretty sure there is, right? Clamps would have been amazing. P would have been garbage. Cannons would have been amazing. Peggy would have been great. Furo would have been okay. Oh wait, no, Furo we couldn't use because that was a Pokemon that I just caught for fly. But uh, anyway, I'm like Gamer PD. Hope you guys enjoyed this entire series. I finally finished it. For reals, for reals. I just, I had to play through the fucking after game. And I did it slowly because I forgot that a lot of the stuff that you had to do. I would have recorded it, but who really cares about Kanto? If you guys want to see Kanto, let me know in the comments even though nobody's going to watch this shit. Uh, we'll do it in the next, uh, the next time that we come to, to Chodo. I don't know when that is, but I'm sure it'll happen. Anyway, I'm going to catch you on the next episode, or in the next video. Peace!